Hey guys, this is Kate and I am so excited to share the February Felicity Jane kit with you. Um, oh my gosh, the name just totally escaped me. Ah. I'll have to put a, uh, insert something here and tell you the name of the kit or put a link below because I cannot remember the name. But um, I've seen um, another, I think one video showing this kit and it is gorgeous. So I wanted to show you if you're not familiar, Felicity Jane is a subscription kit club and, um, I do receive these kits, um, just about every month. Um, if she has extras for marketing purposes, um, but I was in the middle of moving last month, so I didn't get one last month. It was a beautiful kit though. The last one I got was December and I loved that kit. I think I have a couple of process videos using that kit. But anyhow, so I did get the kit this month and I'm so excited about it because it is a beautiful kit. And you can subscribe, I think you can subscribe for like three months if you want to um, at a like discounted rate or you can just purchase one kit and it's a little bit more. And then I believe now she's offering the stamp set separate from the, so the, st the, the kits all come with a four by six stamp and like an Avery L pocket. It's really nice. But now you have the option of purchasing the stamp set separately. It always comes in the kit, but let's say one month you didn't want to buy the kit. You just wanted the stamp set. You could just purchase the stamp set. Or if you're not, um, you know, if you, if you want to use it for like a planner or something, and you don't need everything else. You could just buy the stamp set. I hope that makes sense. You can't get a kit without a stamp set, but you can get a stamp set without a kit. Maybe that's, maybe that clarifies it. I might have just confused y'all all big time. If you have questions, just leave them below. So I wanted to show you the packaging because it's one of my favorite parts about these kits. The kits are gorgeous on their own right, but the packaging just, it's just perfect, I think. She does such an amazing job with the packaging. And y'all, you know, packaging is important. So this is what your February kits will look like. So adorable with this polka dot. It always comes in some variation of this. There's always some tissue paper, always a beautifully tied bow ribbon. And I'm sure she does these all herself and they're always perfect. And then usually something stuck in it or attached to it or something like that. So this is what it looks like. I'm going to set it aside and if I can pull the things out to show you. Oh my gosh, I'm totally keeping that. It's like a nice thick row green ribbon too. It's not like a little, little scrawny dinky ribbon. And it comes with these, um, I've mentioned this before, these things, and I always throw them in a, and like have a big Ziploc bag that I throw them in and I keep them because I use them to wrap gifts and stuff. They're really great um, for, for wrapping gifts. I think they're so cute. And if you go buy a bag, they're, they're, they're pretty ex expensive and I love them. And they also come in my julep um, boxes, which is a, nail polish thing. Anyways, excuse the fussing. I'm sorry. I've been out of the video making. Whoa. Y'all are going to see why I said that in just a second. <laughs> I haven't made videos in a while, so I'm kind of out of practice. Okay. I'm going to set the papers. I think I got everything out of there. Yeah. I'm gonna set the papers and stuff aside. Um, get all my little things back in there. So I will definitely be using that ribbon as an embellishment. So I'm just going to pull it out so I don't forget. And you could also use the really cute tissue paper as on your project if you wanted to, instead of using it, um, you know, for packaging. So there's a, it's a big piece of ribbon, pretty hot pink color. Okay. So this is the first thing. So cute. It's this, um, pencil and it looks like the ones we got from Studio Calico actually. Um, and it has a gold heart on it. I don't know if you can see that. So cute. And then attached to it is a little Polaroid with some washi tape. I'm just going to pull this washi tape off. Um, is a, well, that kind of ripped a little bit, but it's okay. Um, is a little Polaroid that says XOXO and then it's signed in a gold pen from Jetta who owns Felicity Jane. So that is super cute. And then it's this really cute black and white bag. I love these. I always reuse them. I love to map my photos on them. And inside, oh, how fun. So there are these gold, they're kind of foiled. 
but they're but they're a little bit matte also it's a really really cool color gold I really love it um, little die cut embellishments so it's just like kind of wonky scallop the two hearts and the XOXO I super love that and then a heart shaped doily and two more of the little Polaroid frames one says be mine and one is a heart you could totally put this in project life or make a card from it or add it you know add it to a layout you could put a photo in there if you wanted to really really cute does such a great job and most of the items in these kits are exclusive to the kits they're they're um, designed and I guess the production is done by um, Jenna I'm not sure of the logistics of that but I know that most of the things that are in the kits you can't buy separately if that makes sense so I'm gonna go ahead and show you the papers because I find that once you see the papers like all the embellishments make sense and I don't know if I consider this a paper or an embellishment, but it's from American Crafts. It's called Duotone Glitter Paper. And this is why I went, whoa, I was gonna throw my camera off. But you can see that it kind of has a little bit of silver in it, which I guess is why it's called Duotone. Um, it is really, really pretty. So that is the first thing I saw. And then your papers come in a nice little, um, you know, wrapped like this. And I'm just going to, Oh my gosh, it's so cute. Oh, it has my favorite font. <clears throat> so the first thing that I see that I got super excited about was this piece that is a like die cut piece. Oh, it's called You and Me is the name of the kit. You and Me. So all, the papers aren't named. The papers always just have the name of the kit on the bottom. And this one is a cut apart uh, like sheet and it has um, one four by six and then 10 three by fours. So this one is really cute with the polka dots. Let me move this so it doesn't get a chevron. I like the black and white just stripes. That's my one of my favorite fonts. I love that font. And then I like this gingham with the heart. Really, really cute. Oh, that's cute too. The other side is like, it's a really pretty color. It's like a corally pink color. On the, excuse me, on the bottom it says, my fave, love you, be mine, kiss me, XOXO, hugs, kisses, I'm yours, or my fave, then repeats. So, so cute. I think this is kind of a good sheet to um, like represent the colors that are in the kit. Um, oh, I'll show those last. Um, the next paper is a really cool black and white kind of graphic floral pattern. That's really neat. I like that a lot. You could totally cut those out too if you wanted to. Oh, no, no, no. Then this side is black with a white outlined heart. Let me see. It's really cute. And the bottom has some little um, dots on it. And then I really like that, I think in all the kits I've received, there's always been a bowl, a big, Bold diagonal stripe that has all the colors of the kit in it and this one is the that see you can see how perfectly it coordinates but this is definitely a good representation of the colors in the kit and I really like that she does that and then this side is a super cute like minty teal green with a kind of wonky polka dot and then the bottom has a black and white stripe that is so cute oh I love this paper oh my gosh it is a black background with the white plus signs. I super love this paper. And then watch them on the other side too. Oh, oh no. How do you choose? This is awesome. It is, okay, let me see how to describe this. It is a gray and white diagonal, but it's not a solid line, it's like kind of dashes really really tiny pinstripe in the background I don't know if you're gonna be able to see that and then it's like this really pretty like peachy sherberty color world map and then there are kind of like routes like you know like plain routes it looks like and then there are hearts in certain places like I'm I think that would probably be in Brazil maybe and then I'm not sure where that would be but I can't tell. And then in Australia, there's a heart. So there's the three hearts. That is so cute. But I really love this side too. Oh, I don't know what I would do. 
this. Okay. And then the last pattern paper is also super, super cute. It's all these arrows with um, different colored hearts in the middle. On Not on all of them, but on some of them. Ooh, I like this side. Then the other side is this kind of like inverted like chevron sort of pattern. And it has some mint green hearts at the bottom, which is really cute. Can I show you the branding strip on this last one? No. This branding strip has XOXO, XO, XO, like repeated over and again. Oh my gosh, I don't know. I don't know, I just love them all. This is a tough one to decide. So here are all the papers this way. So you can see all the pattern papers. So there's five pattern papers and then here are the other sides. So some tough decisions to make there. And then of course the glitter paper and then paper I just dropped. Hang on. So there's a piece of cardstock, which is a per the perfect, I mean, it's perfectly that hot pink color, matches perfectly. And then there's also a, a half sheet of this, it's called Seamist cardstock, but it's adhesive. So you can see it has like an adhesive backing on it. So you could totally run this through your die cut machine, your silhouette, your big shot, whatever it is that you have. And then you have an adhesive die cut, which is pretty cool. I like that she included like a half a sheet of that. So you could try it, something to try out. That would be super fun. Okay. So now I'm going to show you the embellishment. So the this was also included in with the paper and it's this kind of strip of tickets. You get five tickets and they match really pretty with that. And then also in the kits usually is a like six by 12 sheet of, it's, they're just printed out. You have to cut them out yourself, but they're usually super easy to cut out. So like for instance, these tags and this um, kind of arrow or chevron, it's not really chevron. I think of chevron as like continuous, but um, like directionals, I guess. And then these are little file folders and it has like a, a perforated, well, it's not actually perforated, but a faux perforated line in the middle to show you where to fold, which is really cool. Cause then you have a little file folder and then you have some labels, these strips um, that you could like cut apart or use all together. And then these really cute little geo tags with different little things in the middle. So really, really cute. And then there's this little tin and I love, when I talk about packaging, like this is why I love the packaging so much. I'm gonna zoom in some because most of it is, re is reusable and sometimes for multiple purposes, but this is so adorable. And what I would do with something like this is just every time I get a Felicity Jane kit and I get, cause a lot of times you get these little um, like confetti pieces, I would just start storing them all in here, even though they would be different colors and stuff, but it's a great way to store them. So with this kit, we get um, black, white, and gold. And then there are also these adorable little wood veneer hearts. Um, looks like there's five of them. And then of course, all of that cute little confetti. So I'm just gonna put the hearts back in here so I don't lose them. And then I will, well, I was hoping to just slide it down in here, but I spilled it the other way first. <laughs> Like I said, I'm out of practice on my videos. Of course it's gonna stick. Static cling. Okay, so there's that little embellishment. We'll just let those other guys hang out there. I have a black one stuck to my finger. Oh my gosh, get off, okay. And then there's this, I love these little pillow boxes that she does. And I see something in there that is totally awesome. Oh my gosh, what is that? Like, I mean, I mean, by what is it? I mean, like, how did she make that? Or how is it made? So there are these, ooh, I think these are sticky. Oh, I see, they're supposed to go on this little sheet. They just kind of went rogue over here on me. So there are these really, I've never seen these before. They're pretty cool. They're this like, they're pretty dimensional and they're super, I'm sure my camera's not picking up because I don't have all of my lights in here, so the lighting's kind of off, but they're super shimmery and sparkly. They look like those little raspberry candies that used to get. Um, we have three flare, you and me, a heart, 
on polka dot background and then XOXO. And I love the size of this flare. It's a little bit smaller than regular flare. There's this pretty cool shaped paper clip. I've never seen one shaped like that. And then, oh my gosh, this is the cutest thing I've ever seen. It's like a tan felt, but over that is like a gold, like faux leather sort of bow. It is just adorable. Oh, I love that so much. So really unique and cute embellishments. And I think I've said this before in a video. This is like a hybrid to me of like a paper crafting kit and like an embellishment kit because you get, you don't get a whole like ton of paper. You get enough to do several layouts, especially if you don't use them as background papers, but you get so many cool and like unique embellishments. I think that it's just makes it a really cool, like different thing. So this is probably the cutest thing ever. It's like a little flower. You see that? And I think you have to pull this up. How do I open this? Okay. Yeah. You pull this apart. It's so cute. I hate to do this. Ah, why do you make things so cute? But I want to show you what the... It's a really cute kind of velvety um scallop trim. It is so cute and it's like the perfect color and you get a bunch of it. I am, I don't know how she got these and I'm never going to be able to get this. Oh, the other side's like grow grain. So you could totally use the other side if you wanted a lighter pink. Like, I don't know how, I mean, I, the patience it must take to get that wrapped up in there like that. I don't even know how she does that. And then there's this little wooden spoolie with some, um, gold and white baker's twine on it. I love Baker's twine. And then I'll show you this and then I'll show you the stamp. So how adorable is this? I mean, it is a black and white gingham bag with a super cute tie. This would be so cute to give like one of your girlfriends a gift in or something, or even your boyfriend or husband, like a Valentine's Day gift. It's a super nicely made bag. I wonder if she makes these, like hand makes them. And then it has this awesome, magenta glittery heart. I mean, really? And this, I believe, and I, I didn't, I haven't checked online or anything, is the pink paisley um, alphabet that I like love and have almost used up and was just the other day like contemplating ordering another one um, because I love this alphabet. It's from, I can't, maybe like sunny day or something. It's a pink paisley line, I believe. And they're chipboard, they're not adhesive or anything, but you get a ton of them. And they have numbers and letters. So, and they just come in this adorable bag. I mean, you just couldn't get any cuter than that. Sorry for that rattling sound. I need to move that. It's something on my desk that's rattling. It's probably been doing it the whole video. Okay, and then last, but definitely not least, is this adorable stamp set. And I'm gonna take it out of the packaging. I just wanted to show you how it comes. It comes in an Ariel pocket. So if that's how you store your stamps, then you're all ready to go. And it comes on a piece of very sturdy cardboard that says, Mainly USA, You and Me. So you have the name of your kit there. And then Felicity Jane. And it has some kind of like removable um, glue dots, which I always take those off because I like to pull my whole stamp set out when I, like, I mean, just the stamp set, not the backing. Um, I love, if you are a planner person or a card maker, this is an awesome stamp set. First of all, I love how the, they're actually diagonal stripes. I don't know if you can tell. These diagonal stripes make up the, the love parts and the negative. And then you and me, and then it has like the end of an arrow and the beginning of an arrow, but then you can put like all these different phrases in the center. Like we've got a good thing. You are my favorite. I love you. XOXO. Anything like that. And then this love, you put this letters underneath it. I think it is adorable. Then you have this, my whole, whole world, which is kind of arched to kind of follow the shape of that globe with the heart in it. Look at this little tiny border of hearts. I love the flag, another heart, a paper clip stamp, too cute. And then an entire alphabet. And it's a little bitty alphabet. It is so, so cute. So I am just super excited about this kit. As you can see, just with it laying right here, how pretty it is. 
and all the fun things you can do with it. So make sure to check out um, Felicity Jane. Don't, don't forget those gold things in there too. And if you subscribe or anything, just let her know that I sent you over there. That would be awesome. And I thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you real soon. Hopefully with some process videos. Thanks for watching. Bye.